Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use auto lip sync option from the AIM Trailers Explainer Video Toolkit version 2 for Adobe After Effects. Okay, so after we open the project using any character, let's go through the main points that need to be done. First, we need an audio track. So you can use any recording, either a professional recording or one that you've recorded your own voice. But take note of this important point that the audio should be in mono mode. So to add the voice over to the project, you can use the import function or just simply drag it into the project panel. Then, for example, let's open this single character instance composition. Once again, I need to mention that we do not recommend using the 00 character builder composition in the project you should only use a single instance as this is a specialized optimized version of the character which is convenient in performance. Now, let's drop it in on top of the layers. Next, we use the right click to open the menu, then select the keyframe assistant and finally convert audio to keyframes. We now have a new audio amplitude layer so if we open all the keyframes, we can see that everything is already automatically configured. So a very important point, if the language of your version of After Effects is not English, you need to rename the converted layer to audio amplitude layer. This is really important. Now let's select on AIM Trailer's facial expression control layer and go to the effects controls panel. There, we can find a new option, the lip sync mode. Now open it, simply change the value to one, which means that auto mode is on. Now let's check the result. Introducing the biggest, most optimized, feature packed, explainer video toolkit on the market. Wow, that looks great. And I think it's really fast and, and very useful. But we have some extended features for our lip sync system. So let's get into some of these. So the first feature will give us the ability to change the mouth shapes if you need to. So for this, we need to open all the layers in this section. Here we find a new layer called AIM Trailers Lip Sync Config. Well, in the effects controls panel, we see the character uses five types of mouths for the lip sync animation. Now, let's take a look at the example of this mouth. So in the folder, Elements Guides, we can find a guide by the name 00 Mouths. To begin with, let's confirm what kind of mouth this is. Nice. Now, we need to think about what would be a good replacement for this kind of mouth. So I think this option is really quite good. Now let's return to the project and change the value to what we need. Also, we can change the size of mouth if we need to. And that's it. In the background, the entire track will automatically apply all the changes. And the last cool feature is the ability to combine automated and manual lip sync animation. So what is this for? Let's check this out. For example, if you want to combine an automatic lip sync with emotions in some parts or manually create a specific section of voice acting or maybe replace one mouth to another in only one place. Okay, let's replay the time indicator to the first frame and then press on the stopwatch at effect control panel. Now we go into the end trailers facial expression control layer and open all the keyframes to make it easier to work with. For example, at this point, we want to change the value to zero, which means that lip sync mode is manual. And after some time, we'll turn it back to auto mode. Now let's select all the layers and with the right click, press toggle hold keyframe. Maybe let's try to apply the emotion.
Now let's check out the result. Introducing the biggest, most optimized, feature-packed. Yeah, that looks good. Remember that in the intervals, you can easily animate the mouths according to the old way from the previous video tutorial. So you could still do this if you want. And that's it for the video guide for this section. Thanks for watching and happy animating. Don't forget to follow us on our social networks. We're preparing many more cool products and content.